You're making a mistake right now that's stealing months from your fattening timeline and you don't even know it. I'm serious, 90% of ranchers I've talked to are doing this one thing that's secretly sabotaging their weight gain results. And the worst part? The feed industry doesn't want you to stop because they're making money off your mistake. Last week, I met a cattleman who fixed this single error and cut his fattening time from six months down to four months. Same cattle, same budget, completely different results. This isn't about buying expensive supplements or premium feed. This is about stopping one specific practice that's actively working against your cattle's metabolism. Once you eliminate this mistake, you'll see weight gain acceleration within the first two weeks. But here's what nobody's telling you about. The mistake is irregular feeding times, and it's destroying your cattle's ability to convert feed into muscle and fat efficiently. Now, I know what you're thinking. Does it really matter if I feed at 8 in the morning one day and 11 the next? The answer is absolutely yes, and the science behind this will blow your mind. Here's what happens inside your cattle's digestive system. Cattle are creatures of extreme biological routine. Their rumen, that massive fermentation vat that makes them so efficient at turning grass into protein, operates on a precise microbial clock. When you feed at consistent times every single day, the bacterial populations in the rumen synchronize their activity. To anticipate that feed, they ramp up enzyme production, they position themselves for maximum nutrient extraction, they create the perfect pH environment for digestion. This is pure metabolic efficiency. But when you feed randomly, sometimes morning, sometimes afternoon, sometimes you skip because you're busy, here's the disaster that unfolds. Those microbial populations go into survival mode. They can't predict when the next meal is coming, so they shift their energy away from growth and reproduction towards simply staying alive. The rumen pH swings wildly, creating acidosis one day and alkalosis the next. Digestive efficiency drops by 20 to 35%. And here's the part that costs you real money. Your feed conversion ratio goes from maybe 6 pounds of feed per pound of gain to 9 or even 10 pounds per pound of gain. Let me put that in perspective for you. If you're fattening 50 head of cattle and you're feeding them inconsistently, you could be wasting 3,000 to 5,000 pounds of feed per animal over a finishing period. That's not a small number. That's the difference between profit and breaking even, or worse, losing money. And there's something even more sinister happening that most ranchers never connect to feeding times. Stress hormones. Every time your cattle don't get fed when their biological clock expects it, their cortisol levels spike. Cortisol is the enemy of weight gain. It breaks down muscle tissue, it suppresses appetite, it redirects energy away from growth and towards stress response. You're essentially putting your cattle through chronic low-level stress every single day and wondering why they're not gaining like they should. Now here's where it gets interesting. I visited a ranch in Texas last month. The owner was doing everything right on paper. Quality feed, good genetics, proper mineral supplementation, clean water, but his cattle were taking forever to finish. We sat down, we went through his routine, and I asked him one simple question. What time do you feed every day? He looked at me confused and said, whenever I get to it, sometimes morning, sometimes after I fix fences, sometimes evening if I'm behind on work. We implemented one change, feed at 7 in the morning and 4 in the afternoon, every single day, no exceptions. Same feed, same quantity, same cattle. Within three weeks, his average daily gain jumped from 2.1 pounds per day to 2.8 pounds per day. That's a 33% increase in growth rate from doing nothing except showing up on time. But let's go deeper because there's a layer to this that even experienced cattlemen miss. It's not just about when you feed, it's about training the rumen ecosystem. Think of your cattle's rumen like a factory. When the factory knows exactly when raw materials are arriving, it can staff appropriately, it can prepare the assembly line, it can maximize output. When deliveries are random, the factory runs inefficiently, workers stand around waiting, machines sit idle, productivity collapses. The same thing happens at the cellular level in your cattle. Consistent feeding times trigger predictable insulin responses, which improve glucose uptake into muscle cells, which drives protein synthesis and fat deposition. 
random feeding creates insulin resistance over time, which is essentially pre-diabetes in cattle, and that absolutely murders your fattening program. Now you might be wondering, what if I can't feed at the exact same time every day because of weather or work demands? Here's the truth, you need to get within a one hour window. If you say seven in the morning, anywhere from 6.30 to 7.30 is acceptable. The key is predictability, not perfection. Your cattle's biology can adapt to a consistent pattern, but it cannot adapt to chaos. Let me tell you about another common mistake that compounds this problem, split feeding versus single feeding. A lot of ranchers feed once a day because it's convenient, but here's what the research shows. Splitting your daily ration into two feedings, morning and late afternoon, dramatically improves rumen stability and reduces the risk of acidosis. When you dump a massive amount of feed once a day, you create a fermentation explosion in the rumen. The pH crashes, beneficial bacteria die off, and you get bloat, digestive upset, and poor feed conversion. Two smaller meals keep the rumen in a stable, productive state all day long. Think of it like this. Would you rather have your digestive system process 3,000 calories in one sitting or 1,500 calories twice a day? Your body works better with the split approach and so does your cattle's rumen. And here's something almost nobody talks about. Water intake follows feeding patterns. When cattle eat, they drink. If you feed inconsistently, their water intake becomes inconsistent. Dehydration, even mild subclinical dehydration, reduces feed intake and slows metabolism. Consistent feeding times create consistent drinking patterns, which optimizes hydration, which drives better growth. So what's the action plan? Starting tomorrow, commit to feeding at the exact same times every single day. Set alarms on your phone if you have to. Make it non-negotiable, like milking time on a dairy. If you're currently feeding once a day, split that ration into two feedings, morning and late afternoon. Monitor your cattle's behavior. Within one week, you'll notice they start gathering at the feed bunk before you arrive, because their internal clocks have synchronized. Track your results. Weigh a sample group now, then weigh them again in 30 days. Compare that growth rate to your previous averages. I'm confident you'll see a noticeable improvement. And if you're finishing cattle for market, you'll shave weeks off your timeline, which means lower feed costs, reduced overhead, and faster turnover. Here's one more critical point. Young cattle and recently weaned calves are even more sensitive to feeding schedule disruptions than mature animals. If you're backgrounding calves, irregular feeding can trigger health issues, suppress immune function, and increase susceptibility to respiratory disease. Consistency isn't just about growth, it's about overall herd health and resilience. And let's address the financial reality. Every extra week your cattle spend on feed costs you money. If you're feeding 50 head and each animal costs you $3 per day in feed, every week of delay costs you over $1,000. If inconsistent feeding is adding two to four weeks to your finishing time, you're losing four to $8,000 per group. That's real money that could go toward ranch improvements, better genetics, or simply profit in your pocket. The beautiful thing about this fix is that it costs you absolutely nothing. You're not buying new equipment, you're not investing in expensive additives, you're simply showing up on time. It's the highest return on investment change you can make in your cattle operation, and yet it's the most overlooked. So let me ask you directly, are you feeding your cattle at the same time every day, or are you letting convenience and chaos dictate your schedule? Be honest with yourself, because your bank account reflects the answer. This is about respecting the biology of the animals you're raising. Cattle thrive on routine. They perform best when their environment is predictable, and they reward consistency with faster growth, better health, and higher profitability. It's not complicated, but it requires discipline. If you found this information valuable, do me a favor. Subscribe to Biggest Bulls and Cow right now because we're building a community of serious cattlemen and cattlewomen who want real information, not fluff, not theory, but practical strategies that actually work in the real world. Drop a comment below and tell me, what time are you feeding your cattle and are you doing it consistently? Let's learn from each other because ranching is tough enough without working against our own success. 
And if you know another rancher who's struggling with slow weight gain, share this video with them. Sometimes one small change creates a massive ripple effect, and this could be that change for someone you know. We're all in this together, and the more we share what works, the stronger our entire industry becomes. Hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and let's keep growing together as cattlemen who refuse to settle for average results. I'll see you in the next video.